Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Last time we arrived at Orm Rock's Fortress, and now let's go find Gortak. He should be in this audience hall. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make your... Okay. That's a lot of people. I'm guessing we should follow this path, but what if we stray? Okay. We can do that. Talk to me. Big day, big day. Can hardly contain myself. Okay, and this leads to something over here. Every exit's being watched. Oh, this is the thief's staff. I should make my way there eventually. Ooh. We have a barrel. But maybe I'll just save that for later. For now, we'll go up the middle. Since we're being invited after all. Kins people, Baldurians, and dearest Duke Ravengard. Thank you for joining me on this exceptional day. It's him. Gortash. <sighs> this is it. I can practically taste his blood from here. My father's here, Karlak. Cool your fires. He must not come to harm. Careful, Karlak. The Steel Watch will destroy us in one swipe if we attack Gortash here. Oh, don't use that. We bide our time, but make no mistake, that monkey is mine. A moment, please, my friends. An old acquaintance has come to pay her respects. Please, Karlak, come and say a proper hello. My respects? You're lucky I've agreed not to shove my boot up your... Ah, how I've missed your colorful turns of phrase. We must catch up, just as soon as I've had words with your little friend. As for you, I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that netherstone that you carry. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the Sword Coast's infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well... Not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided. If you and I come to an understanding... Together... We can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. I'm not interested in bargaining with the likes of you. The likes of you stand to benefit from the likes of me. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's Chosen wants the Neverstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. What are you getting at? Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know. She's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three Neverstones, She'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. You want me to believe you mean no harm to the city? I'd like to propose a pact. A divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. 
Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. And my father? Your father will do whatever you command him to. Like any other subject in our kingdom. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. Hmm. Let's be allies, said the viper to the frog. Examine Gortash's body language and expressions. Can you trust him? Guidance. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you. As allies, it seems none of you can be trusted. You, Orin, Catherick. So Catherick was ready to betray our alliance too. I can't say it comes as a surprise. But you should know this. I initiated this plot. I brought Catherick and Orin together to create the Absolute. They knew this would only work if we stood united and coordinated our powers. Their ambition blinded them to reason. I don't suffer the same affliction. In short, you can trust me. Oh, think about it. No promises. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter. A faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. An imposter? But who in the hells? The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. How am I supposed to find Orin if she can change her form so easily? Even horror has a home. Find her nest and slay her there. For all its charms, Baldur's Gate has long had a cancer at its heart. A hidden temple devoted to Baal. That's where Orin became what she is. Where she worshipped and schemed. And now, it's where she hides from my watchers when she's not spilling blood in the streets. You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. If the trail goes cold, follow the bodies. Surely your still watch can handle Orin. Why do you need me? Orin is... elusive, shall we say. The grip of the steel watch may be tight, but sand still slips through its fingers. And some conflicts are best resolved quietly. The people are cattle, obedient until panicked. You, Orin, Catherick, the Brain? What was your plan? First, Orin the Red bloody dagger of Baal causes panic in the streets through killings in the Absolute's name. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherick Thor. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them. All out of fear of the Absolute. Next, I... we... will declare curfew and begin infecting the masses. Our subjects will hear the voice of their Absolute God. The faithful will do anything in the name of their God. And so begins your tyranny. Our tyranny. And we are saviors. Defenders of the Sword Coast, our loyal subjects will love us, not hate us. What comes next will be entirely their fault. Where in the Nine Hells did you find a powerful artifact like the Crown? Powerful connections. Let's leave it at that. I've heard enough. Am I free to go? Soon. First, come and be witness as I make history. 
the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. I have no interest in this sham of a ceremony. Then allow me to peek it for you. Your brain twists and stretches under the Watcher's gaze. The pain almost brings you to your knees before fading. You will follow me and you will show due respect. Distinguished Dukes, Patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same, by word, deed, and decree, so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent? Say nothing. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. Alright, let's see... Will... Oh no, that's Karlak. So there you have it. Lord Enver Gortash, in all his glory. What did you make of him? He seemed like an absolute fraud in a very nice coat. Yeah. Fucker always had expensive taste. I don't know how anyone in this hall could fall for this charade. Isn't it obvious what a chancer he is? People are mostly fools. Hard to explain it any other way. Then again, I guess they just want to feel safe by any means necessary. If only they knew the truth. The Dead Three orchestrated all of this. And it's working. I wish this city, the people running it, were smarter than me. Gortash isn't their salvation. He's the monster at the gate. All right. And then Will's quest got updated. Ceremony's over. Return to Mizora. I kind of want to see if I can get to that stash, though. Is that the one? No. But this door's open. Maybe I can fly over? Oh, no. Everything is being watched. How annoying. Okay, let's just go back down for now. I'd rather not fight everything here now. Mizora. Okay, investigate the murders. We have to go there? We found him, and he disappeared after the ceremony. Okay, we gotta get Orin. And then... Steal what? Search of... Search the city for signs of the Duke. Seems like a good moment to talk. What did I tell you? A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. I've had enough, Mizora. What do you want? Your attention, little pup. Nothing more. And you'll be glad to give it. You see, Gortash has had your father relocated. Where have they taken him? To the slaughter, the way I hear it. Shit. Your dad's good as dead, pup. 
And to think, there's no way to save him. Or is there? You know something. I know enough. I'll be in your camp if you want to work something out. Well? Of course she'd stick her infernal nose where it doesn't belong. Of course she's dreamt up some risible scheme. By all the hounds of the hells, what is she planning? Your father's involved, which means it's worth hearing her out. Mazora's always worth hearing out. That's what makes her so dangerous. We'll have answers soon enough. Mazora's gone to camp. We should speak with her. Until then, may my father keep safe. Whatever coop he's been flown to. It seems Grand Duke's domain's been murdered. Did you know her at all? I met her twice. The first time, I was a boy of seven or eight at a banquet in the Flaming Fist's honor. One look and I was smitten. Chestnut hair that flowed behind her like willow fronds as she floated from one room to the next as if carried by clouds. The second time, Stelmane was different. Even with the aid of a cane, each step she took was a struggle. Every word she spoke took great physical effort. A stroke victim? I asked father later. No, he said. A stroke survivor. You sense uncertainty in Will's voice. He questions his father's explanation. I sense there's something more to the story? Something's always gnawed at me. At the banquet, Stelmane didn't seem to look at us, but through us. But that second time, her gaze never left me. It was steel, sharp and unyielding. It could just be my imagination, but I always felt that it was more than a stroke that had changed her. What, though? I couldn't say. Dawn before her time, it sounds like. What a tragedy. Not a tragedy, a calculated cruelty. Think about it. My father was Tadpole. Stelmane is dead. The people are frightened and the council's in disarray. To exert control, he must first sow chaos. A tyrant strategy, as father would say. These murders aren't random acts. Someone powerful is guiding the killer's hand. And the city is made weaker for it. Okay, let's go to camp. So we have an imposter. Is it you? A devil will come for her, Jew. Mizora is no different. Whatever it is she comes to offer, whatever choice Will makes, someone will suffer. Count on it. No. Let's see. You look pretty normal. And you? Um, hi. It's me, Yenna. You remember me, right? I met you before, and, um, my mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? Yes! We can play one a cup! Of course you can stay, Yenna. Pick a spot and settle in. Yes! You've got a fire and everything! I can cook really good! Whatever you want! Thank you, thank you! Okay... Where did she end up? Not near Karlak, apparently. Asterion? I don't relish the idea of Mizora visiting our camp, let alone offering us anything resembling a <laughs> deal. When the devils start approaching you, you know you're in deep. You sound pretty normal. And Will was in my party. Battleheart? Will ought to know what happened with Mizora. Whatever she has in store for him can't be good. 
Oh, the Sharns are using a place called the House of Grief as cover for their presence in Baldur's Gate. Then that's where we need to go. My parents are in there somewhere. Okay. And then you guys. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be most welcome. You can join me permanently? Our thoughts are as one, my friend. You must face the Chosen of Bane and Baal. I will do my part to see them laid low. How do you intend to spend your newfound freedom? I am free from my bonds, but not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead two remain. You must face them. I will help. Okay. What about you, Isabel? Keeping very well, I hope. Um, I'll leave that for later. Paulson. Mizora schemes with Will's very freedom. He deserves to know what she is up to. Okay. Gail. Whatever business Will has with Mazora, it will cost him dearly. Or worse still, it will cost us. I hope we can afford it. Wait a minute. Are you the one? Do you have... No. I don't see the mind reading thing. Or maybe we're not supposed to see it. Certainly you're not an owlbear. You can be one of these. Or even withers. Are we missing anyone? No, right? We have Halsin, Gale, Stir, and Shadowheart who aren't in the party. And then you two are in the party. Maybe one of you. I had no wish to lose Will. But my, it would have been nice to flush her into the colony's flesh pit. <sighs> you mentioned there might be another way to find Minsk? There might be, but... Mm, it's not a path I dread until we must. Let it wait until the city proper. Perhaps I'll have had a better idea by then. Okay. What about you, Karlak? Miss Zora, I'd take anything she says with a grain of salt. But with her claws as deep in our business as they are, I guess we can't ignore her completely. Okay, and where is Miss Zora? Is she in here? No. Let's check you out. Look pretty normal. Do I have to long rest? It has been a while since I long rested, so maybe. Let's check this side first. No. Okay, fine. Yes. No tomb sit in Beato. You've heard of such devils. Sisters of justice. Adjudicators of diabolical contracts and bargains. Holy hells. Just what are you up to? I come to bargain. The hells demand witness. Enough, Mizora. 
Where is my father? How do I save him? How else? We bargain. Sisters. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Your contract, Will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. What are you proposing? A life for a life. No contract is ended without sacrifice. The cost must be paid. Will Ravenguard, a choice is before you. Option one, I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two, I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand, and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Bloody Zariel. I won't let her take Will. Silence, Karlak. Mizora, you asshole. Choose. What happens to Will's powers if he breaks the pact? Addendum F. The Absolute must be avenged for the Soulbinder's detention at Moonrise. The Soulbearer retains his gifts until such time as the Absolute is slain. Break the pact, Will. You deserve your freedom. You damned wretch. Father. Do it. Break the pact. Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. Anima ad beator. Didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> Seems my boy's all grown up. <laughs> and don't go fussing about your father. You made your choice. You knew the terms. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. Okay, so we got another guess that may be an imposter. Gail? I hope you're here to discuss that contract you just signed. Agreeing to give away our greatest hope of salvation wasn't the wisest of moves. According to Raphael, Background destroyed an empire. Imagine what other evil it could do. And handing it over to a devil will be a way to prevent it? Come now. You're many things, but never that naive. I promise you, whatever outcomes we're hoping for in this world-ending endeavor of ours, letting that devil get hold of the crown must not be one of them. No. What we should be pursuing is knowledge. We need to learn more about that crown. We should pay a visit to Sorcerer's Sundries. Their book collection is the envy of the Sword Coast. I'm certain the truth lurks somewhere on their shelves. That's weird. i pretty sure I told Raphael no. But sure, sounds like an excellent idea. The only kind I have? Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. <laughs> Nethery sex are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. Are you the imposter after all? How can I check? I don't think I can. Yeah, I'll talk to Karlak first. Soldier, my engine. It 
hurts. I think this might be it. Soon. Things burning hotter than I knew it could. But look, we've just about made it to the city. That'll do me. Let's go protect it. <sighs> Whatever happens after that is between me and the so-called gods. You don't think we'll find you a cure? With this heat going, I can't spare the energy to think. Ugh. I just want to enjoy whatever's left of this life of mine. <laughs> anyway, it could be worse. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. With who I'm meant to be with. How many people can say that? Oh, man. Alright. Will? Gods. I spent seven years choked by Mazora's leash. And I spent seven years hoping to break free. I never knew freedom could taste so bittersweet. I thought you never regretted taking the pact. I didn't. I don't. My sacrifice kept Baldur's Gate safe from Tiamat's rage. But that doesn't mean that the leash never chafed. That I was content to lap up whatever nonsense Mizora fed me. The leash has been broken and my father left for dead. Tomorrow I celebrate my gain. But today, I mourn my loss. A moment passes. In the stillness, you find a mote of tranquility. The Raven Guard name now lives solely with me. I will make it count for something. Your father's not dead yet, Will. Maybe there's a way to save him. I signed his life away before the Hell's Witnesses. It would be easier to drink the sticks down to the last drop than to alter his fate. I'd be a fool to wish otherwise. What's our next step then? We obtain the final two nether stones and take back our minds. And the city. From the brain. All right. Mizora. Little Will's all grown up. I can't wait to see what trouble he gets into. That's it then? Duke Ravengard's dead? Well, not exactly. But it's only a matter of time. Don't be too hard on Will. I'm sure he carefully weighed the pros and cons. Pro, freedom. No more pact. No more hellbound soul. Con, killing off his own father, Baldur's Gate's most beloved duke, and forever altering the city's future. I would have done the same thing in his shoes. <laughs> but what do I know about heroes? If you're gonna be staying, I need something in return. Why? I'm supplying Will with every scrap of his infernal power. I've paid my dues many times over. I tell you what, when the time comes to squish that big baddie of a brain, I'll lend you a hand. You never told me how the Absolutists captured you. Correct. I didn't. If you must know, I was scouting the cultists on behalf of Zariel, but those cursed shadows were thick enough to fell even a half-fiend. I woke in that damned pod, it kept my body sealed and my most powerful magic silenced. But a brave, kind, benevolent soul set me free. Gallantry isn't dead, after all. You've left Karlak alone? Then you want her dead? What changed? Oh, you are an inquisitive one. I'd have thought you'd figured by now. Zariel found a new use for an old battle axe. The dead three in that bulging brain of theirs are a threat to more than this trifling city, you know. Savor her company. Who's to say when Zariel might change her mind? My mistress can be so capricious. I don't get it. If Will isn't your warlock, why stick around and give him power? Just because he's not my pet doesn't mean he's not useful. 
The absolutists worked a number on me at Moonrise. And you're the best hope I've got at payback. No one crosses the Hell's children without getting scorched. What can you tell me about the Hells? The nine Hells of Beator. Each its own domain, each with its own archdevil to rule it. I call the first Hell my home, Avernus. My mistress Zariel's realm, a torrid battleground split by the bloody waters of the Styx. How I adore it. The delicious agony of it all. The other eight, well, they are pleasures unto themselves. Perhaps I'll show you myself, if I deem you worthy. All right. Is that it for conversations? No one else has an exclamation mark. I guess we can finish long resting. Ooh. Do I have to use the ones in my... Yeah, okay. How did you? Oh, it's you. I must have let my mind wander. Enough for you to wander in. Forgive me. I am drained. Ever since you killed Ketherick and took his netherstone, the Chosen's control of the brain has been... brittle. It's rebelling against Orin and Gortash. Fiercely. I suspected that when we took Ketherick's stone, the brain would begin to break free. Those brain quakes confirm that my suspicion was correct. I do not know what happens now when it receives their orders. And I do not dare guess. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An Elder Brain enslaved is one thing. An Elder Brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Come. You may as well sit a while, now that you are here. Your company isn't unwelcome. What are you doing? Trying to guard us. The brain is restless, but I am distracted, and my lack of focus is endangering us. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No one else. Someone from your past? Indeed. Duke Stelmane. Or as I knew her, Melin, when she was alive. You thought you were my first ally. Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Melin was different from my relationship with you. Did you manipulate her like you manipulated me? I see that you are unable to let that go. But do not forget that I trusted you with my life, as you trusted me with yours. Manipulation or not, we need each other. My relationship with Berlin was similar in this regard, though less dramatic. In life, she was my business partner, back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a mind flayer. Duke Stelmane trusted me, and the city trusted her. I concede the plot, but Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, 
She is gone. Sorry for your loss. I appreciate your understanding. What I feel is deeper than superficial cures can reach. And not entirely unwelcome. Most people think that Mind Flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. I am glad you are not most people. Thank you for sharing that. Another quake. The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. And so do you. All right. Now let's see if anybody changed. You still look pretty normal. Ooh, Gal has something new to say. So, the devil himself is pursuing the crown. As for whether it's truly the Crown Carter's Forge, well, I think it's safe to assume we shouldn't take anything Raphael utters at face value. We must claim the Crown of Carter's for ourselves before anyone else does. I think he might be the imposter. Okay, let's save and give him a good whack. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Yeah, he gets healed. What if I whack everyone and see how they respond? You would wrong an ally. Shameful. Nope. Your turn. Think you can take me on. Stop that. No. I thought it would be these two. They're not technically companions. You think you're funny, do you? Yeah, just a bit. Maybe not my actual party, because I don't know if they can heal. Lazel? Okay. Doesn't seem like they're fake. Maybe that was a lie. Either way, I guess we can move out. So first, let's finish. Let's use aid on you. Oh, maybe I should have used the Campion first. Oh well. Don't burn yourself. Sharp is I can still use it now. It's probably not gonna die anyways. And then we long strider everyone. Good. I've got a long road ahead. And then let's use some elixirs. I think they're here. One of these. So for me, I want concentration. Jahira. Oops. You want I think Battle Mage's power is good for you. Making me sweat. Carlac. Bloodlust. And will. What do you need? You're just blasting. So maybe get concentration as well. Still 
still breathing, despite everything. Okay. Now, oops. We want to go up there. And our fiery friend wants to talk to Kar. Karnak wants to kill Gortash still, huh? Are they still here or did they go further north, I wonder? Either way. Can I get to the thief's stash? I wonder if I can fly to it. Oh, I think I saw it. Is it here? Too far away. Alright. Maybe I'll go back for it eventually. Lower city it is. Yeah. Move along. I've got my hands full enough without gawkers. Okay. Um, I think Jahira had something new to say, right? Oh, I've had a lifetime's feel of watching little men buff themselves up with grand titles. I look forward to the day we show the Archduke that his tongue is not half so silvered as he thinks. As do I. He's protected by his steel watch for now. And Orin will have her own defenses, should we choose to play the part of Gortash's bloodhounds. We cannot expect either of the Chosen to fall easily. But fall they must, if we're to have all three stones to command the brain. Still, if you see sense in making an alliance, I won't question it. I'll just look forward to the inevitable breaking Gortash spoke of. And what do you think of his warning of the doppelganger in our camp? It would be irritatingly true to form. Who did not? Mm. A harper learns to doubt. To peer through every smile, question every look. Eventually, you find what it is you fear. Whether it is there or not. When we cannot know, we can only trust. But then... That is exactly what a traitor in our midst would say. Isn't it? Have you thought any more about how we might find Minsk? I have. And while I do not love my conclusion, that does nothing to change it. The Harpers are the city's best information network. With them out of action, we shall have to fall back on second best. Nine Fingers Keen. Nine Fingers. A name that could make a city guard tremble. If they aren't already on her payroll, that is. She runs the guild, which itself runs every criminal enterprise in the city. I didn't think a harper would be friends with a petty crime lord. Friend is not the word I'd use. Nor is petty if you've a mind to keep your tongue. But both our operations step outside the law when needful. She just likes it better there. How hospitable she will be to a harper that comes begging to her guild hall. Huh, we will find out. Perhaps I will let you do the talking. Okay. And where should we go for that? Oh, just right up north. This way should be north. And we have a uh, waypoint. Is it up here? Maybe? No, it looks like it's down there. You really won't feel it. Manhole. Ooh. Nice, level up. Let's finish leveling up then. For spells, we have level 6 spells. Cool. Maybe just disintegrate. I like that. Do we have any other good ones? Sunbeam could be nice. It's concentration, so it competes with haste. Same with that. The only ones that aren't concentration are chain lightning and circle of death, along with disintegrate. 
If I go with like a lightning belt, this might be good. For now, I'll take this and see how I like it. Uh, do I want to get rid of anything? I want to keep my fire spells. Haste, yeah. Counter spell. And then the control ones. I'll keep it like this. And then you, what do you get for this one? Level four slots. I don't really care, do I? And then do you want to get rid of any of these? Maybe. So you get confusion. That's pretty good. It's enchantment, so it works with my ring. Dimension door. Greater Invisibility could be good. Polymorph. Yeah, maybe I will take Greater Invisibility. If I can afford to get rid of something. Maybe Dissonant Whispers. This is kind of control, but also damage. But it's not great for either one. So let's get rid of that. And this is Feral Instinct. You get plus three to initiative, can't be surprised. I don't really care more for rogues, so let's just take this. You get another Paladin. Aura of Protection. Nearby allies gain bonus to saving throws. And then... We don't get new spells, do we? That's a restoration. I guess we can take some level 2 spells now. Maybe get rid of all the random things. Actually, I don't think these were what I chose before. Let's start over. We want the healing things. Branding Smite. I want Thunderous Smite. Because that doesn't require concentration. Bless. Command is good, maybe? Although I don't know if I got it from other sources. Let's just pick that up for now. And then... Maybe just random things. Okay. Now, let's see. I like this green a lot more. Let's do that again. Bless. Thunder. Okay, I don't have command. Compelled duel. No, that's concentration. Protection from poison is not. These are both concentration. Maybe I will have to just take the smites. Even though I don't plan on using them. And there was one more. No? Wasn't there one more smite? Branding smite, there it is. Okay. So we're in the sewers. We want to get to one of these. Nine fingers. So that's to the west. I also make my way through, probably punch through the wall, but I'll do that in the next episode. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.